Yo, what's poppin' people? Welcome back to another episode of Kicking the Bass TV. Thank you guys so much for the support today out on the Ogeechee River. We got a little bit of pre-fishing to do. I'm so excited to get back into this stuff, guys. I'm having a lot of fun. I grew up tournament fishing. That's all I used to do is tournament fish. So this just gets me back to my roots, and uh, we're starting to fish some little, you know, weekly night tournaments. And we're gonna make a whole series about it. So today, we have a night tournament later on at 545. We're out here, it's about nine o'clock right now. We're about to put in the river, do a little bit of pre-fishing. We're not gonna catch a ton of fish today, like sore lip them, but I know we're gonna catch them good. So we're gonna hop around to a bunch of different spots, try to catch these bass and practice for tonight. But if you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, also hit the like button. And if you guys wanna check out the last tournament video, you can check it out down below. I'll link it down there. So we're gonna be rigging up some baits. I'm gonna try a few different things today. The biggest thing is I told Cody, when I come out here on the river, I'm so like used to throwing like just a Texas rig or maybe a fluke. That's just like my comfortable baits out here. But I feel like to get these big fish to bite, because on the Ogeechee, there's a lot of small ones. I feel like we need to throw something moving, maybe a spinner bait, maybe a chatter bait, bladed jig. So I'm gonna tie on a spinner bait right now and I'm gonna be casting around a moving bait a ton today. You know, I might have Cody throw around, you know, a little crawl or something to get, get the bottom bait going, but I just feel like I need to be throwing something that a big one's gonna bite. It's probably gonna be a spinner bait. Maybe try a buzz bait a little bit. I don't know if they're gonna eat that good, but we might try it out. This is spinner bait that I'm gonna be tying on. It's by striking. And if you guys are wondering what rod I'm putting this on, it's a custom pro on a Mach 2. One of my favorite combos. If you guys wanna check out any of the rods and baits that I use, I have the links and discount codes down below. If you guys use that, it really helps me out a lot. And you get a much cheaper price on the bait. So we're gonna tie this up, go ahead and unhook the boat, get on the water and make a game plan for tonight. All right, so we're about to head out towards some of the spots that we wanna fish right now. The timing's gonna be a little off. It's a little lower than I want it to be right now. But um, I think we're gonna go catch them really good. I just wish I could compare it a little more to what's gonna happen later tonight. So we're pre-fishing right now, and we're lucky we're on a you know a tidal water fishery right now because these fish are replenished. So I'm not too worried about what we catch right now. But then again, we don't want to get sore mouth them. So if we pull in a spot, you know we catch one, all right. If we end up catching two, I'll probably just call it and say, all right, let's move to a next spot. So we're just gonna cover a lot of water figure out what they want. And I want to experiment with different baits. That's the big thing I want to do today because I want to be confident with what I'm throwing later. And I don't just want to throw a Texas rig or a fluke. So I'm going to toss around the spinner bait a good bit, maybe throw a fluke a good bit, maybe throw a chatter bait and just see some other baits that these fish are going to commit to and see if that bait's going to catch a bigger bass than this one. So let's go ahead and get out to our first spot and see if we can put something together. everybody showed up to our first spot that we're gonna be trying out today I'm going to cast around the spinner bait for a good second like I mean I'm gonna I'm gonna probably throw this thing a majority of the day I just feel like spinner bait could get a big bite and I didn't throw it when we fished that last tournament I kind of regret it I was just sticking to confidence baits and nothing wrong with that it's just I feel like this is gonna get a big bite and I need to really focus on it today I want to get confident with it you know i want to if i catch fish today i want to catch them on this once you get your confidence up on a bait you know that's just so important you know i don't want to go out here later today and be throwing something that i haven't caught fish on you know recently so i want to get the hang of it feel confident with the bait then we put it to work later and we end up winning this thing hit some oh 
he just hit me right there. Flip your worm right there. He was hitting the blade. It's right under that little thing that's laying right there. Yeah, let's work it out a little bit. That was a bite though. You see how that little thing is nose down in the water? There's three little pieces are floating past it. Yeah, flip right there. Where you're sitting. Yeah, exactly. Should eat it. You got him? Nice. <laughs> Get him, Cody. Nice. Flip his butt up. <laughs> Not a bad one. Hey, I wouldn't mind him. Mm -mm. It's a fat one. That would have called out one of our ones last time. Yeah, it would have. Nice. Good brother. Come to the camera. Yep. Check that guy out. Dude, Wasn't that cool though? Yeah, that was cool. You yeah. told me to cast right there. His <laughs> mouth seems a lot smaller than like, It does, doesn't it? Yeah. He's got a little tiny mouth. He's fat? That was cool. See that that same fish, guys, he slapped my what he did. I threw up there and he kind of was hitting this blade. So I got Cody, you know, he's throwing that. That's this is a great example too, Cody. Like me throwing a moving bait and you throwing that. Yeah. We might have never caught that fish. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, I like that strategy. So it's like, you know, throwing something different guys is is crucial. And that just gave us a sign that there was a fish there. You know, he hit my blade, but he didn't eat it. I don't know if that's a good thing for this bait though. That's another interesting thing, but I don't mind if they'll hit it and we'll know that they're there and you can throw in and catch them. I mean, there's a hundred percent of fish right where I just landed. I don't know if he's gonna eat the spinner bait. Oop. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, that's a good one. These are just our pet fish, you know? Yeah. What's up, Tommy? <laughs> Good to see you again. Just calling our shots today, aren't we? Bro, you said 100% was a fish right there. <laughs> That's a good looking one. That's a pretty fish. Mm -hmm. Usually that's about all I would catch here, but I think we should try a little further up. That was the fishiest feeling steak I've ever, <laughs> ever felt. <laughs> It's really shallow in there. You can't even go up in there. Oh, for real. Oh, oh gosh, dude. I didn't even. What? It's a cigar, dude. I didn't even hook set. He just caught himself. All right, just let it go. I feel like you don't even have it. Really pretty gar, too. Look at him. Oh, I do have him hooked. That's going to be hard to get off. Look at the markings on him. See that? Yeah, that was a beautiful fish. I don't know what happened, dude. I don't know if he, he might have. I never hook set. He just started jumping, literally. Okay, that was interesting. <laughs> you can get that crawl up here. See that little, yeah, looks good. I got one. What is that? Mud? Dude, what the heck? Yeah, it is a mud. I stopped reeling, dude, and he just freaking tanked it. Well, next cast, after I retied, Guess we're just catching everything today. Hooked a gar and then just smacked a mud. I like stopped reeling it and he just hammered it. They bent out my spinnerbait so bad. <laughs> there you go. Dang, Thank you. dude, that was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> oh my God. That's what I'm saying. I mean, I could probably bend it back. Yeah. But. I want to bend it back. I'll put it on a different one for the tournament. Yeah. Come on, biggins. I want to see some good ones here. Right up here. Yep. That's a good bass, dude. That's that's the size that we want. Oh yeah, it's two pounder. Two and a half pounder. That's a nice one, bro. <laughs> Heck yeah. It's the ones we want, brother. I feel like I called every shot that I've got so far, except for this gar and <laughs> yeah. this mudfish. That's a two pounder. Yeah. 
those are the ones you want brother and that's why that spinner bait i think can get some really good bites like that and that's just a pretty bass just pulled up to this spot good one He like ate it three times. Like he missed it twice and then he mm -hmm. finally had it, yeah. It's a little guy, but yeah, yeah keep. I wouldn't want him, but nope, it's something. Shows that there's fish here. Oh, I got yeah, they're sitting off on it like I was talking about, brother. Yeah. I think that's a good one. I threw right out in the middle. Sitting right where they should have been. Mm. Mm hmm. It's a nice one. That one. That one's really pretty, ain't it? Yeah. It is. Pretty markings on that fish. Not a big one, that's a keeper. This little fat guy. He's right out there in the middle, guys. I, I hit this spot a lot in the winter. You see this fish jumping back there? I heard him. Um, and I was just, I mean, I can catch him right here in the middle for some reason. <laughs> but, hey, we were just talking about, what, five minutes before? Yeah. We came up here and he was there. Like this will be a good bank to hit when that tide goes low later tonight. Yeah. What? Dude, it's a mud, but your rod, that was so cool. So cool. <laughs> that was pretty dope. Come off, dude. <laughs> Just get off of here. That's the worst, dude. It's annoying. It's fun to catch them sometimes. I'm not going to lie, but sometimes I get to that point where it's like, why? Can you just not bite me? You got him? Yeah, he's not too bad. Not what I was trying to do. Look at that, dude. Is that not? That's how strong those fish are. And your grip. <laughs> yeah, that's more my grip than that <laughs> fish, but dang. Yeah, that's ridiculous. About that time, we're putting her on up. We're gonna be back here in like four or five hours. We didn't stay out too long. You know, we just went out there. I wanted to hit some spots on the right tide, throw some baits that, you know, maybe I can build some confidence with for tonight and just have a good time. And we caught a good couple of fish. We were only out here for a few hours and we weren't really trying to catch all these fish. So it was pretty good. Um, you know, when it comes to tournament fishing and practicing, I don't suggest practicing the day of. Usually you would never practice the day of, of a tournament because most of the tournaments are from the morning to the afternoon around three o'clock. But with this one being a night tournament, we're like, let's go out for a few hours, try some new baits, fish the tide because we're fishing the same tide that we're gonna be fishing later. So now we have an idea of what we need to do. This fish should go back, replenish, and there should be a lot more that end up pulling up. And I think the tide's gonna be even better when we're fishing the tournament. We fished it on the lower end of it. But uh, I think it's going to be good, but we're going to go back here in a few hours, put it to work and get first place, guys. I feel it. I think we're going to be able to seal the deal. The last tournament, you know, we had a couple minor mistakes that cost us. We only ended up having four fish. We didn't have a limit. So this time we're going to come in with a limit and hopefully have a really big one. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys want to see some more tournament prep, tournament fishing videos, let your boy know down below. Hit the like button. I love you guys so much. Peace.